Good matcaps can really make the sculpting process easier. Matcaps are basically images of spheres with different colors, materials and lighting. For example, this matcap is white, the material looks like plastic and the shadow area is very light. And the light source is probably somewhere above and a bit in front. When I add this matcap, it takes the lighting, color and material information and applies it to the model. Here are some other inbuilt matcaps you can try. For example, if you pick this one, the model's lighting and material also changes according to this matcap. Think about foods that are already cooked for you. All you have to do is pick what you like and eat. Well, matcaps are like that. All these complex lighting and material information are captured and saved as sphere images. Now all you have to do is pick a matcap you like and you can instantly see your model under that lighting setup and material. This is super convenient when you're sculpting because it's quick and does not require you to set up lights every time you want to change the lighting and material. This helps us see forms in different lighting. Speaking of forms, as a sculptor, I prefer to have a few matcaps that allow me to read forms very well. For example, this matcap has a clear light and shadow separation. It helps me to see if a form is somewhat round in appearance or squarish. This also has very dark shadows and a nice halftone. So that's very good because it describes the form and plane changes very clearly. Great for big and medium form sculpting. This one is interesting because how bright the highlight is. It's great for when I add surface details and also for hard surface model. These bright highlights help me judge how clean the forms are, if the surface is smooth or not. Although at the end of the day it comes down to personal preference. I like to think about forms in this way because I come from a drawing background, so I prefer this kind of matcaps. In Nomad, we have awesome inbuilt matcaps like this. But also, Nomad has this import option, which means we can import matcaps from other programs and also customize them. Let's say I have this matcap, but I want to change the color from white to red and also make the shadow area darker. So, I'm going to change the color to this red and paint all. Then go up here, enable post process and then find color grading. Then I'm gonna adjust this curve to darken the shadow and create more contrast. Make sure the light area isn't overexposed. Then go here, scroll down, Pin the menu and set the final size to square. Then enable preview and zoom in until the edges of the sphere touch the square boundary. This is important. Now disable preview and enable transparent background. Then export PNG and save that image. Now I'm gonna go to matcap, import that red matcap we just made and it's applied to the model. That's how you can modify an existing matcap and create a new one. Now let's create a matcap from scratch. First thing I'm gonna do is switch from matcap to PBR mode. So go up here and then PBR. Then add light. You can change the intensity and lower the exposure of the environment. Make it more intense. You can also change the direction of the light like this. Color temperature can also be changed like this, warm or cool. Forty-five degree is a nice light source angle. 
At this point you can pause and save the image as PNG like I showed in the previous section. But let's say I wanna create a metal mat cap. So go up here and pick this material. I'll increase the roughness value a little bit to make it less shiny. Then paint all. To save the image, go up here, check transfer and background, set it to square, zoom in until it touches the boundary. Then export PNG and save. To apply this matcap to our model, go to matcap and import it. And just like that, we have a nice metal matcap. You can also import matcaps from other programs like Blender. So here in Blender, add a UV sphere. Then click here and add a subsurf modifier and set it to level 3. Then go up here, select matte cap. Let's say I wanna pick this nice red matte cap. Now right click on the sphere and shade smooth. Then go to front orthographic view. and disable 3D cursor, origins and grid. Now go to the window and save screenshot. Then in Clip Studio Paint, I'm gonna crop the image. You can use any image editing app like Procreate or Infinite Painter or if you're on PC, you can use anything you like. So I'm gonna add some guidelines that touch the edge of the sphere like this. Zooming in to make sure that it's touching the edge. Then select rectangle selection and the corners will snap to the guidelines. Then just crop and save as PNG. Then back in Nomad, I've already imported it. So I'm gonna select it. And just like that, we have imported a Blender matcap in Nomad. Another common way to get matcap is to find them online. So I hope you found it useful. Subscribe for more tutorials like this. I will see you in the next video.